Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I want to give you a quick update on shortwave listening conditions, uh, which are favorable, much better than they've been. And this information comes from Tabitha. And I'll go to her YouTube page right now. There it is. And uh, she is a solar uh, expert, doctor in solar. Um, and she has kindly, I asked her about a year ago if she could uh, make a little mention about amateur radio operation as it's affected by the solar weather, and she's been doing that. And here's her update for this week, which corresponds to what uh, I gave you the other day. I'm just going to show you a little clip of it, and then you can watch the whole show. This is her, uh, her channel right here. And I'm going to just show you a couple of seconds. Since then, things have been extremely quiet, pretty much flatlined, until about the 20th when that region plus another couple regions started showing up back on Earth's side again. And so the solar flux has gone up, and uh, we're not seeing any strong flares, and it looks like it's going to stay that way. But you amateur radio operators should enjoy a little boost in propagation uh, simply because the X-ray flux and the, actually the solar flux has risen just a little bit. Okay, that's all I want to show you. Like I say, you can watch the uh, whole thing, whole show. Um, she does this kind of um, almost like randomly, about once a week or so. And this is for 9-28-2017. So this is brand new information. And it sounds like, uh, again, from her, that solar conditions should be uh, good for shortwave listening and for amateur radio operators. That's it. Just wanted to give you that update. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.